Well, hi there, Family Church. It's so good to have you with us. And we're still going along with our story about Abraham here at Family Church. Wow, it's been a long time. Have you been waiting hard, waiting for God to fulfill his promises? Guess what? Today's the day. We see God fulfill um, the first of his promises to Abraham. And from that comes amazing, amazing things. And you'll see that through our uh, sessions, through our songs and our story um, and our craft today. But today we have something a little bit new. We want, want you guys to do something. With mum and dad, we have a little check-in. Just like you do when you're in our kids' church with us on a Sunday, we want to know that you're here because we're excited that you're here. And so we have a little um, check-in online thing for you to do. Now, I'm, I'm told that the check-in is in the description down underneath where I'm speaking. Um, but there's also um, a link on our website and various other places. And so um, I would like you to just pause our video now before we go any further. And mum, dad, brothers, sisters, whoever's there, why don't you check in and, and let us know that you're watching. Well, thanks for doing that, everybody. We're excited to see who's tuning in, and we're especially interested to see what your answers were to the bonus question. But for now, we're going to move on with our day, and uh, we're going to go do some singing. And we have God's love is big, and that's what we've seen, isn't it, with our story of Abraham. God's love is very big. So why don't you jump up and dance with us now? Alrighty, well today we're singing all about how big, big, big God's love is. It's so big and it's great and it's fab and it's strong and it goes on and on and on. Alright, so there's a little bit of a tricky section where it gets pretty fast in the middle. See if you can do it. Here we go. Clapping. All right. 
Fantastic. I'm going to sing these words and I want you to shout out really loud. God's love is big. God's love is great. God's love is fat. God's love is strong. God's love is big. God's love is great. God's love is fat. God's love is strong. God's love is big, great, fat, strong, big, great, fat, strong, big, great, fat, strong, big, great, fat, strong, big, great, fat, strong. God's love is big, God's love is great, God's love is fat, and he's my mate. God's love surrounds me every day. I love to sing and say, God's love is big, God's love is strong, God's love goes on. Well, today we're talking all about the moment where God has kept his promise and finally delivered Abraham and Sarah, their baby boy. Now, God had made this promise years and years and years before this moment, and they had to wait. They had to have patience and they had to trust God that he would keep his promises. But it's not always easy, is it? So I thought I'd give you a little bit of a challenge so that we have a little bit of a glimpse of what it means to wait. So I want you to head into your kitchen and I want you to find your favorite snack. Might be a drink, might be a kind of food. I found a couple here in the family church kitchen. I found some of my favorite biscuits, some chocolate ripples. And I also found a can of Pepsi. Oh, anyone who knows me knows I can't resist a can of soft drink. But the challenge is to keep them where you can see them, but to wait to eat them. Now, I wonder if you'll be able to do it. I'm already struggling, but I'm going to wait and see if I can maybe have one at the end of Family Church today. Good morning, everyone. This morning, we're going to be looking at a promise that God made and how he did what he promised. But first, I'd like you to think of a time that you were waiting for something to happen or waiting for someone to keep their promise. I'm going to tell you an example today that involves my mum. This will be my mum. And me. And this is me. Did you guys get your mum a Mother's Day present? I ordered my mum one online back in April, but it didn't arrive unfortunately in time for Mother's Day. And it still hasn't arrived yet. And I keep on waiting and waiting and going online to see if there are any updates about when it will come. But I just don't know when it's going to turn up. Today we're going to be looking at two other people who are waiting for something to arrive. Can you guess who they would be? If you had said Abraham, you would have been right. And of course, the other person is Sarah. And Abraham and Sarah had been waiting for God to keep his promises, and in particular, one particular promise. Can you remember the promises we've been looking at this term? was one of the promises that God made to Abraham and Sarah. A brand new car? Or was it... Triple scoop ice cream? Nope. God's promise to Abraham and Sarah was that they would have Lots and lots of descendants, and in particular, 
that they would have this special baby. And now we get to a very exciting part of the story because we get to see that God keeps his promise. Unlike my mum's present, which still hasn't arrived and might not ever arrive, we know that God keeps his promise and his promise of a son to Abraham and Sarah did arrive. Sarah here, and this is Sarah. She became pregnant just as God said that she would. And here she is, with baby Isaac in her tummy. And God didn't run late on delivering his promise. When Sarah's baby was born, it was a baby boy and they named him Isaac. Lots of names have special meanings. Do you know what the name your name means? You can pause your video here and ask your parents if you don't know. But Isaac's name actually means laughter. And if you think that's a funny name, I'll explain why. Abraham and Sarah, you might remember, were pretty old. In fact, at the time when Isaac was born, Abraham was actually 100 years old. Imagine having that many birthday candles on your cake. So that's why when Isaac was born, and here we are again, we've got Abraham and Sarah and little baby Isaac here. They were very happy because God had kept their promise. And Sarah said, God has brought me laughter. And everyone who hears will laugh with me. Who would have thought that I would have a son at my age? And just like God keeps his promises to Abraham and Sarah, he also keeps up his promises to us. So can you have a think here about any promises that God has made to us in the Bible? You can pause now and talk to your family and then come back. Unlike my mum's present here, which who knows if that's ever going to come, we know that God will always keep his promises just like he kept his promise to Abraham and Sarah here. Well, hey families, I hope you have had a fantastic day together at Family Church. I sure have. What we're going to do is we're going to continue our time together and I'm going to lead us through a time of prayer. Now I hope all our tools and activities that we have been doing together has been really helpful for you guys as parents and as families to pray together as a family. Now today, because we know that God kept his promise and gave Abraham and Sarah a baby, we are going to give God thanks that he is the great promise keeper and great promise maker. And so what I'm going to do is I've got a piece of paper here. I'm going to brainstorm all these ideas about who God is and give him thanks for that. Right, a bunch of things I can praise God for. So uh, praise you. You are the great promise keeper. And praise him because he is the great promise maker. Faithful. trustworthy. I'm sure there are many more things that you can praise God for as a family. So I'm going to leave that up to you. I'm going to show you mine that I have made. And I'm going to pray through these points. And that is something you guys can do as a family, is pray through your points that you have written down. Hey families, today we're going to be making a little person paper chain. Uh, the reason we're going to be making this is because as we've learnt from family church, uh, God promised Abraham and Sarah that they would send them a baby and we know that 
from this baby came a whole line of people all the way to Jesus. So we're going to make a whole line of people that you can hang up anywhere to remind you of how amazing and always delivering God's promises are. So to do this, you're going to need one sheet of paper, you're going to need a pair of scissors and a bunch of textures. So the first thing you're going to do is make nice big folds across the length of the piece, piece of paper, about a thumb long, and you're going to do that all the way down so it ends up looking like this. So we're going to Once you've folded your paper so it looks a bit like an accordion, you're going to draw a big person on one of them. Alrighty, so once you've drawn your person, you are going to cut them out along the lines, making sure not to cut the ends of the legs and the hands. Alrighty, once you've cut out your man, it's time for the big reveal. Grab one hand and pull him out to make a whole line. Now, after this, you can draw on a whole bunch of faces. Maybe you can draw your own family on. Another thing you can do is since we're making this Abraham's line, you can give them all the names of people from Abraham's line. So as we learnt from Family Church today, the first person in the line was Isaac. And then we know a little bit further down the line came King David. And we know that from King David comes Jesus. Now our challenge for you is to see if you can find some of the names that fit in between these people. We also have a fun activity for you to do as a family, but it involves heading outside. So I wonder if you'll come with me. You're gonna need some chalk if you have it, but you could just use maybe paper and pencils as well, maybe some blue tack. But you'll need a bit of an area like pavement or stone or some tiles outside that you can make a little bit dirty and it'll be okay. All right, let's do it. Exactly. All right, so I'm here at church and I'm gonna head outside. Here's Jamie, hi. say hi. We're gonna head outside to the pavement and we're gonna see if we can have a bit of fun with our memory verse for the term because we know that God keeps his promises and we know that his ultimate keeping of his promises is in Jesus and we read about that in what book? Do you Genesis. remember? Genesis and what's our memory verse one? Corinthians! <laughs> Two Corinthians. So here's what we're gonna do. I've got some helpers here who've come to help us to make some hopscotch. Now, we've got chalk, but you could use all kinds of different things. And we're gonna draw the grid for hopscotch, a really long one, and in each square, we are going to write a word from the memory verse. And then, we're gonna play some hopscotch. You ready? Let's do it. Alright, so now that you have a hopscotch grid, what we're going to do is grab up a copy of the memory verse from 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20 and we've made it so that we can do one word in each square and we've chosen to do the first sentence but you might like to do the whole verse, see how you go. So if you can remember it, let's see if I can, we'll see how we go. It starts with... Well, haven't we seen God is our great promise keeper? And he kept his promise to Abraham and Sarah. They did have a baby. They had baby Isaac. 
And I, I wonder if you had fun, or if you will have fun, doing the chains of all of the people that came from Isaac and Abraham's family. They were God's chosen people. But one day, along came someone who was God's son, and he was part of that family too. And we're going to hear a lot more about him next week uh, as we see what God's plan was with this special family that he started from Abraham and Isaac. We'll see you next week. Bye.